Lucas Media. So Megan Thee Stallion, who was twerking at Kamala Harris presidential rally, had backlash. Was getting backlash for it. You know, you you know, you, you're twerking around kids and older elders that could have been born in the 1930s that was there. Well, she actually had a response. You know, and I'll give it to you. It says, "quote They was fake mad that I was popping it for Kamala." And I don't think they heard what she said. Kamala said she wants a ceasefire. Kamala said she supports women's rights. Kamala said she's tired of high gas prices. Hotties for Harris. Now, I've also had people, you know, I made a previous video and I had people, one person who really didn't want to engage, but questioned me because I said that, you know, that was distasteful. And, you know, I said several other things disagreeing with that. And, you know, she asked me, she actually asked, which a lot of people ask, but well, they don't really have a good argument. Is how was you raised? And, you know, how did your mother love you? Well, my question is, what would your grandmothers think of this? What would your great grandmothers think of this? What would your idols think of this? And we're the only society, we're the only group of people where we have to feel like we have to do stuff like this for votes. Got to show your bodies for votes. Got to twerk for votes. Megan, who graduated from a historically black college university, why she just couldn't go up there? And just talk about her accolade. Even just perform. You could perform. But if for you to turn around and shake it out there for all the little kids. I mean, it, it, it was it was young boys in there. Older, older elders was in there. But that's what they think of us. And I had a discussion earlier with, with a, obviously a black woman. And we were having a conversation about it. And she said, well... You know, black women are damned if they do, damned if they don't, and somebody gonna have something to say. And but where is the where's the accountability at? Where is the accountability at? And that's something that unfortunately a lot of people in our culture don't want to do. There's a time and a place. If if uh, Kamala went out to Megan's concert and Megan did it, wouldn't have really nothing to say. I mean, eh, probably still wouldn't shouldn't do it for a presidential candidate, but. You know, she's in Megan's house, but the fact that you were hired to do a performance and you do that, that lets me know right there, that's what people think. That's what people think about us, and that's what people think about our black women. But the problem is, and you know, 78 said this really about um, the whole boxing controversy with the Olympics, but this really goes for everything. This is going to keep being allowed until black women come out and say stuff about this. I'm sorry, y'all just, y'all gotta, you sisters gotta start coming out and saying stuff like this in the masses. Like, there's a time and a place for everything, but these same people will be twerking on, twerking at a presidential rally, twerking at a restaurant, twerking outside, twerking online. You know, a lot of times these people, a lot of people, they only show their backside. I'll just leave it at that. And then you get mad when the world views you as, you know, an object, and I'll just leave it at that, you know, an object, you get mad about that, you know, you want, you want to twerk, but you want people to treat you like how they would treat somebody else from another culture, that's, that's just not how it works, you are a representation, you are a representation of your race, you're at a presidential rally, you're at a presidential rally, and you're shaking it, and it was a brother who was in my comment section saying that he tried to talk to JDs about it, you know, these are these are lawyers and they still were disagreeing with, with, with his point. When you shake like that, you then you can't be surprised when people view you just like that. Why wasn't people twerking during the 1960 movement? Do you see that? They on their hands and knees and all of that. Do you see that? Do you see a sexy red? Would you have seen something like this at a presidential rally? Let's just say a black person was in office in the 1960s or was running for president in the 1960s. Would you would have seen our black queens doing stuff like this? You wouldn't have. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have. Ida B. Wells would have never done nothing like this. But then when you say stuff like this, they get mad and it's like, oh, like, it, man, we moving backwards, y'all. And me seeing stuff like this lets you know. Matter of fact... Would she have done this at, a, at an Obama concert? That's what I'm worried. That's what I'm curious about. I mean, at an Obama rally, would this have been done? You know, but of course, people are not going to see it. You know, they're going to say, oh, y'all got something against black women and you must hate your mother. And no, my, my mother wouldn't have liked this. And my grandmother, who lived to be 100 years old, would have definitely not been with this. 
And my great, great, great aunt, who was alive when I was alive, who lived to be 106, who parents were slaves, wouldn't have been condoning this. They wouldn't have been down with this. So no, no, no. This is some new toxic stuff in our community that we have to address. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Let me know. Y'all think, is it, am I tripping? Is it just me? But yeah, let me know what y'all think.